Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again, and welcome back to WWE Fans TV Recap Show. And today's recap show will be for Arrow. So, this episode of Arrow is entitled Beyond Redemption. Now, before we get into this episode, of course, there will be spoilers. So, if you have not seen this episode, please do not watch this review. But, if you have seen the episode or if you just don't care about spoilers, continue on watching. So, just a real quick spoiler warning for you. Let's talk about this episode. So, what this episode is basically about, is about, you know, these group of, like, crooked type cops are, you know, are, like, trying to do drug busts themselves and sell those drugs, basically, you know, to other, like, gang members, I guess. And now, basically, Arrow and the team have to try and stop this this team from doing what they're doing. That's basically the plot of this episode, so yeah. So what I think of this week's episode? Great episode. I actually loved this episode of Arrow. It was a really great episode of Arrow. It really was, you know. It definitely was better than last week's episode. It really was. I really enjoyed this week's episode of Arrow, so yeah. So let's get into my positives with this episode. My positives are the acting with the episode. The acting's really good here. You know, Stephen Amell, like I said, like I say every week, he does a really good job in this episode. You know, he's really great. I really enjoyed him. He did such a great job in this episode. You know, I really enjoyed him. Uh, you know, especially in one scene, which we'll get into when I talk about some of the moments in this episode, because that really showed, kind of showed his acting range in that one scene. It really did. And, you know, he was really great in this episode, so yeah. You know, the, um, woman, you know, uh, the woman that plays Thea, she was great as well. I thought she was really good in the episode. Definitely improved from last week's episode. I actually really liked Thea in this episode. You know, um, Emily Bett Ricards as Felicity. I'm, uh, she's starting to get back. Uh, I'm starting to like her again because she's starting to really improve. Thank God. Because she was really good in this episode as well. I really enjoyed her. Um, you know, uh, David Ramsey as Diggle. He was great as well. He did a really good job. So, yeah. So, I thought everybody did a really great job in this episode. The action was really good. You know, there's really two big action scenes in this episode. Which we'll talk about more when we get into the moments. But they were really good. I thought they really they did a really great job filming those action scenes. So, yeah. Just some great, great filming with those action scenes. You know, um, the rhyme with the episode. The rhyme was really good. I thought the rhyme was really good with this week's episode. So, yeah. The directing, the directing was great with this episode, and the director of this episode actually is Lexi Alexander. If you don't know who that is, that was the same director of Punisher Warzone. Yeah, you know that movie was brutal, but she she came on to direct an Arrow episode, and I thought she did a great job. You know, I would like to see her come back to direct some more Arrow episodes, because I thought she did a great job directing this episode, so yeah. Um, you know, she did a great job directing this episode. So, yeah. So, um, let's get into some of the moments, because there were a lot of moments that happened in this episode. Um, let's first talk about when, you know, uh, Oliver reveals to the team that he's going to run for mayor. I love the fact that the team is not, like, mad at him. Like, like, oh, why are you running for mayor? This is a terrible idea. No, they're just like, they're like, no, we're just a bit worried that you may be over your head. They're not, like, mad at him or anything. They're just, just oh, slightly concerned, in a way. You know, so I like the fact that they're not mad. You know, I, I'm fine with them at least being, like, a slightly concerned. Not just yelling at him and getting mad at him and everything. So, yeah. And then also later, and then also in that same scene, we see the new Arrow Cave. Like, we see the new Arrow Cave, and it is awesome. You know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of the Power Rangers Zeo um, like, cave, like, their layer. If you've seen Power Rangers Zeo, it kind of looks like that. Just, Arrows is just a bit more high-tech. You know, it just looks like that in some ways. And I thought that to be funny. I'm like, this reminds me of the Power Rangers Zeo, like, uh, cave. So, yeah. But, yeah, that was cool. Really like that. Um, when Laurel shows, uh, her father that she resurrects Sarah in the Lazarus Pit. And, you know... Quentin's like, this is not my girl. This is not my daughter and everything. And, you know, when Laurel's, like, trying to show her pictures and stuff, Sarah tries to choke her out, basically, with the chain. 
And, you know, so, yeah. That was a bit, uh, really crazy scene, so yeah. And when, er, when Laurel, not Laurel, I'm sorry, uh, Thea and Daigle try to, all of them are trying to set up, like, this fake drug, like, drug, um, drug takeout thing. You know, and the crooked cops show up, and they just come right, like, with this huge truck and machine guns, and I'm like, what the? Like, it was just so out of nowhere. They came with, the, like, this huge hauling truck, basically, and, yeah, just, yeah. And then, that was a really cool fight scene. That was really cool, you know, really well filmed. And then they have, like, these special type weapons, like, um, one of the dudes had... Like this, like blaster type thing. I don't know where it was. It was to stop the canary cry. One of them had like a spider net thing that was cool, and uh, another one had like these, like these claws, and that was really cool. So yeah, so that was a really cool fi fight scene. I really enjoyed that. Um, you know the whole scene where Arrow, I mean Oliver, I'm sorry, tries is confronting Detective Quentin Lance because he found out that he's working with Damian Dark. That whole scene was just powerful. It really was, you know. Basically, Oliver finally stepping up to Quentin Lance and going like, No, you're you're wrong on this. And I'm loving it. It's so great. It really is. I love that scene. That was personally, to me, the best thing about this episode. It was such a great scene. I loved it. Just, <clears throat> Oliver finally getting... Yes. <clears throat> so yeah, that was great. I love that. Then when Detective Quentin Lance gets captured... By the um, crooked police force, you know, um, they have to get him back. And, and another great action scene. It really was. I love that action scene. It really was really good. You know, nice, well filmed action. Really like the scene. And when they free him, you know, uh, one of the the leader of the crooked cops basically has a knife in uh, um, what is it, Oliver and. You know, Quentin Lance makes this great speech, and that was really good. I really liked that, and they took them in and whatever, so yeah. Then when we get to the um, finale of the episode, you know, the final moment of the episode, we see that uh, Oliver walks into his office, for his campaign office, and he sees there's a bunch of people there, like, helping him and stuff. And that was cool. And the, he has his, like, announce, announcing his candidacy. And that was really cool, you know, and once he's, like, making that speech, we see different... People like different parts of the characters just looking on, and that was really cool. I really liked that nice little montage. I really liked that, so yeah. But I do have a few negatives, however, with this episode. My negatives are the villains, the villains were very weak, they weren't even intimidating at all. Like, you could, they're like speaking, and they do not sound like intimidating villains at all. They really weren't, just very weak villains, in my opinion, so yeah. And finally, the flashbacks. I'm sorry, just the flashbacks were not interesting this episode. The flashbacks were very disinteresting. And it did, just weren't really all that good, so yeah. So overall, I really enjoyed this episode. Another great episode for Meryl. I loved it, so yeah. So it's time for my official grade on this episode. And my official grade on this episode is an A-. minus. Great episode. I loved it. Can't wait for next week, because my boy's coming. Constantine. So that's going to be great, so yeah. So what did you guys think of this week's episode? Leave it in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you out later. Peace.